That day, my friend asked me why I didn't pick his call. If I was busy. I do not like my phone ringing. I keep it on vibration. I want to tell him how on some days you don't let me pick up calls. And on other days, you become the vibrations growing on my back. You become a train as you transform my bones into railroads. As you speed down my spine and at certain junctures spread out. Like a rocket bursting out. Except that my body is not your sky to light up with fireworks. Even though my body is more day than night, anxiety does not care. That night, just like every other night, when I was trying to sleep, my eyes became leaking faucets to leak you out of my system. But there is just so much of you, I cannot leak enough. You do hear the ticks of the clock, don't you? Because I have been counting every second you haunt my body. And you had a course nobody believed in. I was told how people don't believe in ghosts, but somehow believed in haunted houses. So now I ask everyone if they see the haunted in my body. If they see how I ghost my emotions because the real ones have already escaped. This body cage is nothing but hollow burials because even dreams are afraid of decomposing in this morning. You see, it makes zombies and vampires out of dreams and my body does not have enough flesh or blood. But it has enough of depression that I keep sinking in. That day, during Diwali and Holi and my birthday, I could not tell others why I don't celebrate festivals or why I don't go to parties, don't do parties. After living a Halloween day life where you play trick or treat with me every day, I stopped liking surprises. I stopped liking candies. Because on those nights, you are a speeding car with the headlights on, but I am not the one driving you. Instead, I can see you blinding me with your light and can't help but just stand there and wait for you to pass by and not hurt me. Some days I wish you could kill me because this endless succession of cars have left me with nothing but a racing heart and sore eyes. I have been in dark for so long now that even when my friend, who I swear is made of light, comes to save me, all I can think about is you, all I can see is you. And I do not want to be afraid of my friend. So I push him away. Anxiety pushes him away. They tell me that even Harry Potter, the boy who lived, had to mine for happy memories. My happy memories have been suppressed for so long now that they have fossilized. And I'm still waiting for an archaeologist to discover my fossils because the last time I mined, the mine collapsed. I lived with a collapsed mine in my chest which hurts whenever I try to mine again. I have stopped mining now. And I fear my happy memories are sinking into this depression. That day, my parents said they didn't know what was wrong with me, why I was acting up. They didn't know how you have converted me into a jigsaw puzzle they cannot solve. Even I have trouble finding enough of myself to complete me. So I have been leaving voicemails at a channel without a receiver for too long now because I have been too afraid. But today, I will tell this story. Even when they tell me to edit you, to make you seem less demon, more human, to romanticize you to a certain point that you start becoming captions for my pictures. Hashtag existential crisis. Hashtag insomniac life. Hashtag anxious addict. Hashtag depressed AF. Hashtag I want to die. Even when they would tell me that you are a book of fiction, always under an edit, just so others would buy you. And maybe someday, you will become a bestseller as I tell your story. And you will ask me, aren't you thankful? That day, I would say no. Because you are not my story. I am.